China has achieved peak oil two years ahead of schedule. It's an astonishing achievement for a developing country, analysts say. The data appears defendable since it came in an announcement from Sinopec, an oil giant that gets no advantage from declaring that its main product is on a path that is all downhill from here. How did they do it? Well, it's clearly the fact that China took the need to move away from petrol cars seriously and developed an affordable electric vehicle industry at high speed. But there are other factors. One is that car batteries are extremely difficult and dangerous to make. But the Chinese worked at it and now produce more of them than the rest of the world's countries put together. Another is that many city-level officials in China have passed laws saying that any company starting a taxi or Uber-style business must use new generation vehicles. The third and most important factor is that the Chinese public are actually buying the things. Analysts say August figures are expected to show that nearly 40% of new passenger vehicle sales were for electric vehicles. And this is despite the country having several hundred million people still in relative poverty. For comparison, only about 14% of new cars sold in the US, the world's richest country, were electric in the past year, according to recent figures from the International Energy Agency. Now, the figures from China are even more startling for smaller vehicles like motorbikes and three-wheelers. Already 70% of kilometers traveled by them are gasoline-free, according to Bloomberg NEF, uh, a research unit. Of course, electric vehicles are not pollution-free to make, and China still has a large coal industry that needs to be wound down. But still, this change in oil consumption has the power to change the world. That's because China is so big. For comparison again, much has been written about the, the successful change to electric vehicles in Norway. Great. But Norway is tiny. The entire population of that country, 5.4 million, is less than half the population of one Chinese city. Uh, Shenzhen is 13 million, and it's a short ride from where I'm sitting. China has hundreds of large cities like that, so clean energy achievements in China will be felt worldwide. Peace.